Okay, just got the top end redone on the gasser, got it broken in. Got a couple about 30 minute rides on it, 20 or 30 minute rides on it since I broke it in. And just pulled the plug and jetted for about 10,000 feet. I'm at 7,500 feet here. So um, the plug actually still looks pretty good. It doesn't look too lean. So we're gonna do a compression test on it. You know, I just bought the Harbor Freight compression tester. It's, I, I really don't care if it's accurate or not. And I'm sure there's mechanics out there shaking their heads at me right now. Um, what I want to know is if there's a change in my engine performance, I can connect this and compare it to the original reading and see if there's a big change or see if I'm losing compression. That's really what I want a baseline for. So I'm going to get a baseline here and um, we'll see what it is. Then I'll have that number if I need, if I ever have a problem in the future, I can compare it with the same gauge. So you know, is the gauge going to lose calibration or change calibration sitting in a box in my toolbox? I don't know. There's people out there that are smarter than me that could answer that. I don't think so, but... So anyway, we're just going to get a baseline here. The Harbor Freight tool comes with two different sizes. Um, it's the smaller size that goes in the gasser, and it's pretty standard spark plug size, actually. So, okay, I'm going to set that so my didn't flop around here. Okay. Kick this over a few times. Throttle wide open. Just over 110. Let's do it one more time. We do expect less compression in altitude, so I suspect it wouldn't be very high. And there's about 115. Okay, now I know.